Hello, I'm Inya Zalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be talking about the audio basics of Adobe After Effects. So if you're working with videos and they have audio or you want to do something with audio, uh, you can do that in Adobe After Effects with some minor tweaks and that's what I'm going to show you today. So I have already created a tutorial like this a long time ago, but yeah, I think that the tutorial isn't as accurate as it could be, so that's why I'm making it again. So uh, I've al also noticed that that tutorial is still very uh, popular, so um, that's why I'm starting this tutorial again. So uh, first of all, I have here my video file with some audio. You can see here that the video file has audio once you click on it and you see the thumbnail. Uh, I will drag and drop that video into a new composition just like this and then my video is right here. To see if that video file has audio, the layer itself, you can see it right here. Uh, it has an audio icon here. If you uh, disable that, the layer is muted. If you enable it, uh, it will have audio. And if you don't see an icon like this, uh, that means that your video doesn't have any audio uh, on there. So. And this is a video file with audio and right over here with the preview you can play it back or you can also mute the audio in general and play the uh, audio uh, all over the complete composition. So if, if you would have like multiple layers stacking up uh, with all of different uh, sounds then here you can mute them all together and here you would be able to mute uh, every single layer. Uh, you can also go here to effects and presets. If you don't see that, you can go to windows and effects and presets and go to audio here and just uh, open that up and you see a few effects that you can apply to the audio. Uh, although I don't really recommend using these, I have never used them and if I want to get into audio editing, I will definitely go to a different kind of software and I will talk about that a little bit later in this video. So here we have our video file and we want to like, for example, if we want a 30 seconds, we want to mute our audio. Uh, if we press uh, L twice on keyboard and uh, double tap L, you will see uh, the levels here. So we can see the waveform of our audio uh, right here. And if we press L on the keyboard uh, again, so if we press it once, uh, you will get the audio levels right here. And if we would click on the stopwatch right here to create a new keyframe uh, and we would go like one second into time and here we want to drag this all the way down which means minus 48 decibels and that would say that it's completely muted. So minus 48 actually equals to a zero volume uh, but volumes are actually uh, described in decibels and like zero decibels are like the maximum you could go uh, as a uh, video so it shouldn't go over one uh, zero decibels in a video editing software. So make sure that you're always around like minus three, minus one, uh, but make sure you don't clip because once you go over zero, you're actually clipping. And you can see that in After Effects, but you can see that in Premiere, or you can see that in um, yeah softwares that are specifically designed to edit audio. So right now, if we will double tap L again, so do that again, we will see that the waveform here is all the way is all gone. So that means because it's completely muted, and now it will just fade out the music uh, in between these keyframes. So you can also press F9 on the keyboard, or you can go uh, keyframe assistance, easy ease. And what that will do if we press L twice, it will just make it uh, go gradually. So um, yeah, uh, I'm not going. I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, but these are the basics of editing with audio. So if we go here and delete this and make sure it's at zero, we can see that we have our audio levels here. If we press L, we can boost it, and we would go like minus 20 or so. These are the basics of uh, audio in Adobe After Effects. Once you want, really want to get into this, uh, if you really want to design your audio, I. Would would recommend you to edit it in addition so that's another Adobe software that is specifically designed to work with audio and can do a lot more than just these effects right here uh, if you don't have a subscription on Adobe and you don't want to get another uh, software of Adobe that's uh, that you have to pay for you can also choose the free alternative and that's audacity so audacity is also a great software that a lot of people use to remove noise to edit audio to master audio you can do a lot of cool things with that free software software. Uh, I will put links in the description but I won't explain these uh, softwares in this video right now because yeah um, 
yeah, this video is about After Effects. If you do have a, a recommendation or if you really want these tutorials, you can put that in the comments below. And if a lot of people are asking for these tutorials, I will also make a tutorial for Audacity or Audition if you really uh, want to. I can do that for you. So um, let's say you want to export your video file. You can go here to Composition. Add the uh, Adobe uh, add to Adobe Media Encoder uh, right here, so you can see that this is the whole selection of your timeline. Go to Composition, go to Add to Adobe Media Encoder, and then just wait for the software to open up. And uh, we can go over here and make sure you are choosing like a waveform format because that's actually uh, well, I've already done it once, so I'll delete the first one. But uh, make sure you go for a waveform uh, format, and that means that it's like as raw as it can get. So in a waveform format, you will have a lot more uh, yeah, information, let's say, uh, than in uh, an MP3. MP3 format uh, is like the lowest of quality you can go. So I know a lot of people know uh, MP3 better than waveforms, um, but make sure you don't go for MP3 because MP3 is a really bad compression and you don't want to use it. So if you're working with audio, make sure you're using a waveform audio or an IEFF, uh, like here. Uh, but I always choose WAV. Also make sure your audio is at around 48,000 hertz or 48 kilohertz like you can see right here. And then yeah, just uh, export it to wherever you want and then you can import it in whatever software you want to use it for uh, to edit audio. So never actually edit audio in Adobe After Effects uh, unless it's something really small, but I have never used it, so I, I wouldn't see a reason why you should. Um, but yeah, that's completely up to you. So this is my tutorial on how to use audio in Adobe After Effects. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos, and also like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and yeah, goodbye.